My name is Rachel Jeffs, and my father is Warren Jeffs. Warren Jeffs is the FLDS leader and prophet. He is considered next to God in our religion. My father has around 80 wives, and he has 53 kids. My mom is the second wife, and I am her first daughter. Growing up, father treated me really special. If anybody wanted anything, they would say, Rachel, go ask father for this, because they knew he'd say yes. As a family, we were happy. We got to swim, we got to hike, we got to go camping. We had a lot of fun. We had toys, all kinds of toys. We even watched movies when I was quite a bit younger. But we did not have access to the internet or to TV or anything like that. We were told to stay strictly away from the internet. After he got his life sentence, he became a lot harsher. And he's the kind of person that if he can't have something, he don't want other people to have it. So it was crazy. All the rules of staying hid and not talking to anybody, not their hair, their dress, the way they eat, all that. My father, he is running the church from prison. Well, I'm giving this message. The Lord dictates these words to my mind and heart. He talks through his brothers, Nephi and Isaac, who either record his messages or write them down. They love you. You are the prophet. They believe he is a man next to God and he can do no wrong. Whatever he does, they can't question him. My father married 12-year-old girls. When he married young girls, I knew what he was doing to them. I knew what he was doing because of what he had done to me. My father sexually assaulted me as a child many times from very young till I was older. And years later, I found out that he had done it to some of my sisters. I was determined to leave. I left the church in 2015, January 1st. My husband was loyal to the FLDS, so he stayed in the church. And I left in the middle of the night with my kids. So what do you need our help with? I want to see my sister, Teresa, and give her an opportunity to leave if she wanted. And you know where she's at right now? Yeah, she lives in Pringle, South Dakota. The compound out there? Yeah, and I need your help. <laughs> 